Here comes the Austrian anomaly, Gunther. A man with one purpose, to prove the math sacred. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing Imperium. From Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, Gunther! The ring general has declared the mat sacred and sees this industry as pure sport, meaning there is no room for games and antics. Now, Gunther takes everything so seriously, like he's always scowling. Hey, listen, he takes pride in what he does. It's difficult not to admire the expertise possessed by Gunther. Gunther is so unflinching, as if nothing phases him. The man's impervious to distraction because he's constantly focused on the task at hand. Yeah, it's like watching a machine. The mysterious Uncle Howdy has arrived. A frightening vision from the psyche of Bray Wyatt. There is a true aura of unpredictability surrounding Uncle Howdy. Sneak attacks, mind games. Yeah! And what's even scarier is thus far, we don't know what his target is. It seems like Howdy's just out to sow the seeds of chaos. Cryptic message of Rebel and what you are. Yeah, but Cole, what does that even mean? Is he talking about releasing your inner darkness? Well, w whatever it means, I'm sure it's probably bad. Here we are in astonishment watching the ghost of the man who sold the world, Uncle Howdy. Giving me chills to my core, Michael. A lot of mystery is wrapped around Uncle Howdy. Like, what's his story? Why the mask? It's all just so unsettling. Why Uncle Howdy is here tonight is one question we do know the answer to. And that is to inflict pain. And then there's Gunther, a proud competitor with a simple objective. He's out to restore honor and glory to the ring. He's trying to clean up the riffraff around here and return some dignity to this industry. Oh, is that what you call it? Because it seems to me like he just looks down on everyone else. No one is good enough in Gunther's eyes not to take him on or even stand shoulder to shoulder with him. You say proud, I think he's conceded. Ooh. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. This could be an opportunity. Boom! Draped across the top rope. Will this be enough? He's on the ropes. The official sees that it waves off the pen. Howdy with the counter. Reversal. Oh, it's, it's 
cinched in. This We're going to free the arm and does just that. Yeah, Uncle Howdy came prepared for this matchup. Just barely, but it counts. Seated on their opponent, trapping their arms to the back of the neck. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Hardy's such an imposing figure. How does Uncle Howdy gain an advantage in this match? No one embraces the darkness like Uncle Howdy. Heck, he revels in it, and that's what gives him a psychological advantage. Uncle Howdy has no fear of the aftermath, no fear of how far he will go to hurt people. Oh, short arm chop. Way to hang on. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Perched up top. Whoa, what a landing. You want to talk about putting it all on the line? an extra risk when you dive ringside. Look at these debilitating forearm strikes. Teen off. Back in the ring now. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. We could have been looking at a count out there. Yeah, you just know that would have been a fire with a straight shot there. Answering back. Two Titans trading strikes and refusing to back down. Oh, ouch. WWE Universe appreciating these athletes going all out. You can feel the contact and so does the WWE Universe. The willpower, the sheer guts of these two. This could do it. He breaks the ref's count after one. Shows that this is still anybody's match at this point. Ooh. Uh-oh. Right by the... He's going for the pin. This could be it. Head to the pay window. No! Two count! This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. The only word that comes to mind with them is aberration. Yeah, Corey, what started as a sporting rivalry has devolved into this all-out war we're seeing unfold here. The ring general showing off his power, delivering a powerbomb. It's all good thirst for the taking. That'll do it! The victory tonight! Here is your winner, Gunther! And it's Gunther who stands victorious. I wouldn't expect anything less from the ring general once again asserting his superiority. Well, you know, this ominous tune is just a prelude to the toll of man. A competitor with seemingly no weaknesses, no fears, and here he is. Carrion Cross.
Just a prelude to the unrelenting attack we are about to see from Karrion Cross. It is time for an adrenaline rush. And his opponent from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 183 pounds, Wesley! Served in the United States Air Force. Wesley is definitely right at home when taking to the skies. We know from experience that Wesley has no problem taking on all comers. Yeah, Lee will take any chance to show off and show out to soar through the skies. Wesley will take it. And I can't wait to see him compete. Superstars can match the intensity that Karrion Cross brings with him to the ring. I mean, just look at the fire in his eyes. Uh, to tell you the truth, I find it hard to look Cross directly in the eyes. It's just too intimidating. And I know many of his past opponents feel the same way. It's as if he looks at everyone as potential prey for him to conquer. He certainly is a fearsome presence, and I know he's hoping to strike fear into his opponent tonight and bend him to his will in this match. But blink and you just might miss what Wes Lee has to offer. The definition of athleticism. He doesn't make it easy to spot any flaws in his game plan. One of the great in-ring innovators of his generation. The sky's the limit for Wes Lee. There's two! Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Can't quite get him there. And Wes can't stop any offense coming his way. And Wes has to quickly pull something out of his sleeve here. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. Held in a perilous position. It was tossed. She get airline miles for that. Clearly an attack that very few superstars can perform with such ease. Great job refocusing to reverse that. Here's the pump handle. Suplex. Launched. Corey, how do you deal with a master of Sambo and catch wrestling like Karrion Cross? What you have to do is nullify Cross's extensive training by making this your kind of fight, not his. If you can force him outside of his comfort zone and get him off balance, then his skills aren't nearly as useful. Stutter! So much damage inflicted. Slips out of the way. Oh, what a kick. for that one. He went right into that turnbuckle. Oh, what's gonna happen here? Look out! The Exploder! Bang into the corner! Look at this. Deadlifting there. Hold it into a, a gun red suplex, but not done yet. Holding on for another! A second gut red suplex. You have to be in peak physical condition to pull off a move with that much weight behind it. And Wes has to be concerned with the blood starting to cascade down his face. Face full of turnbuckle. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. And what a maneuver we just saw there. Clearly had a strategy going on there with the attention on the leg. Sleeper slam! Oh, man, he is fired up now. Wes did his homework. Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. No! Oh, no! Talk about a jumping nothing. A real miscalculation on their part. Wes gets the better there. Oh, ow! Like he's got 11 arms and feet. Oh, it's through 
moonsault, my God. And don't just look at that as showing off. The revolution involved in that move makes the impact so much more devastating. Burst of strikes. Battling ringside and our announce table's getting shaky. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. Well, I get nervous when the fight comes out here, guys. Things have been fraught between these competitors for weeks. TikTok Doomsday has arrived. Cross jacket submission applied. An extreme. Try not to fade. Delivers a harsh elbow. And West is countered. Doing? Don't worry about that now. Get down and count. His arm shot off the mat before one. He didn't even let the ref start the count. Oh, and a kick right to the hamstring. Jumping knee strike. I like that. Looking to take flight here. Lift off. Oh, a spiral tap. Wes with a big time move. Strength. Cross is not so easily dispatched. He wants more. He demands it. That was the best weapon in the arsenal, but it wasn't enough to produce an end result. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. Oh my goodness. Vicious right forearm. comes to an end. Here is your winner, Wes That came out of nowhere. And an unexpectedly quick end to this match. There's the consequences of getting caught unprepared. Just goes to show you, you gotta be on your toes at all times. Gentlemen, trouble is on tap, and here are your servers. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, accompanied by Josh Briggs from Chelsea, Michigan, Fallon Henley. A group of superstars who are all about the good old American life. Money, glory, and fun. Mostly the money.
Oh boy, guys, she is the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. And her beauty is only matched by her success in the ring. And her partner from Staten Island, New York, the most beautiful woman in all of WWE, Carmella! Well, she calls herself the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. And Byron, I ask you, as they say on the internet, where's the lie? She has won the SmackDown Women's Championship, Money in the Bank, the WrestleMania Battle Royal, Mixed Match Challenge, the Women's Tag Team Championship. Shall I go on? Okay, okay, I have to admit, she truly is untouchable. These two are all about beating people up and winning gold. And they have won gold all over the world. And accompanied by Luke Gallows, representing the OC from Fontana, California, Meechan! You know you are in for an all-out fight facing the OC. Two men with a high in-ring IQ, high intensity, and high goals to achieve. The OC commands respect wherever they go, and their opponents had better be ready to show it. Certainly earn the respect, and they'll take it from anyone who won't give it willingly. Well, she's ready to get in there and put someone's lights out. Well, at least we know Wendy Chu's going to sleep good no matter the outcome of the match. And from Chinatown, New York, Wendy Chu! Uh, Wendy Chu doesn't want to hide her uniqueness, so she chooses to embrace it. Can't underestimate the Wendy Choo Choo train. You sleep in a race car bed, Saxton. Leave me alone, Corey. These teams are ready to test each other in this tag team matchup. Getting this competition underway as we have Fallon Henley and Carl. And across the ring, the team they're ready to face off with, Machen and Wendy Chu. And communication for these teams is going to be key in this one. A complete focus on teamwork is the only way to win. Saw it coming and got out of there. Go behind. Breaker. Into the corner now. Torturous focus on the leg. Punishing the leg. And now you have to protect that leg from further harm. You can't finish a match on one good leg alone. Kick right on the side of the face. Saw that one coming, took advantage. Can she score the pin? 
She kicks out with authority. She is still very much in this. Tremendous pressure being applied in this head crank. Oh, man. Looks like her opponent's not going to need a chiropractor. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Ow. Foot, meat, back. Henley was scouted there. She's tagged in. She's on unsteady legs in the corner. Needs to recover. Brutal forearm. This their opponent's uh, legs. Uh, oh. That's a free fall. Bulldog. Delivered with force. Things taking a turn for her now. Fallon looking to push the advantage after that. Now cross the top rope all the way to the floor. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, nasty shot to the throat. Ooh! And Meechin reverses it. Slam and Fallon Henley has taken control. Meachin has to weather a storm here. Toss back into the ring. The superstar is striking in every way possible. Getting set up for something in the corner. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. The pure malice inside the ring right now is so potent, you can feel it in the air. No question these superstars have nothing but contempt for one another. The entire WWE Universe has been unable to keep their eyes off this feud. Can you blame them? Every time they clash, it's a highlight worthy moment. What a forearm! Wendy's mind didn't look to be in the game there. Fallon looking to push the advantage after that. And a ripcord lariat follows. Tag with a punch. Maybe not, maybe not. And shoulders up before a count of one. Keeping a loss at bay for now. Henley keeping her opponent at bay. Wait, 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 wait. She gets a quick kick out there. Not enough pressure on the pin. Oh, God. To the back. There's the switch. Carmella is in. Single leg drop kick. Shoulders down. This could be it. Big kick out. Somehow, some way. Out of the way in time. Head scissor. Things not going. She'd like. And yeah, it's about time to heavily consider tagging in that partner. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Ooh, right to the throat. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Tag made. Yeah. Running Hurricane Rana. Fantastic. She scurries out of there. Oh, man, by the hair. Hair whip. Ooh, stiff punch. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Control? Yeah. Nice scoop slam. Mi Chin's now being sized up. Right on point. She's getting back up, but she might be down again soon. Oh, and she's 
she got out of there. It's not every day you witness a battle like this one unfold. Yeah, the WWE Universe clearly realizing just how lucky they are to be watching this match live. Ah, oh, look at this. Hair pull match slam. That's how you wear down your opponent. Oh, man. Looks like her opponent's not going to need a chiropractor. These two trade encounters and an absolute master class. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, across the top rope. Alan Henley. Surviving that maneuver is absolutely amazing. And you see a perplexed look now for how such impactful offense couldn't gain a pinfall. Single leg drop kick. We might be close to the end. We're about to see how tough she really is. Well scouted reversal there. Using the hair to drag their opponent down. Oh no, look at this. Gotta be careful not to get disqualified. Forearm right to the jaw. Both arms hooked. The full Nelson Slay. For the win. Two. It's been a hardship for these superstars to get to this point. I think these fans are driving them to claw that extra inch. You can sense the ride these fans a bit on it, and I'm right there with them. Well, that was unique. And now she's looking to go top rope. She begins to stir back up, but does it look good? Up high, Tommy Cross body! Throwing all cost into the win. So she tags in. out the window and it paid off. Adrenaline is through the roof now. Snap suplex. Oh man, they do not care who or what they destroy. Yeah, Byron, you are dangerously close to being collateral damage in this one. Just hot shot it to the outside. Fallon Henley rallying the crowd behind her. Will it be? tonight. Here are your winners. The team of Fallon Henry and Carmella. And these two really do make the perfect pair. Perfect chemistry between these women. I see many more wins in the future for this pairing.
One of the most powerful superstars in history. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Hart Foundation from Manchester, England, weighing in at 260 pounds, the British Bulldog, Davey Boy Smith. An all-time great and the pride of England. The British Bulldog, one of the most powerful wrestlers in the history of WWE. Think back to WrestleMania 2 when he won the tag team titles as part of the British Bulldogs. And since then, he's gone on to win the Intercontinental title, the European title, even become a hardcore champion. Speaking of, Byron, have you been housebroken yet? Guys, I am feeling the power of Tazawa. And his opponent, representing the Alpha Academy from Kobe, Japan, weighing in at 156 pounds, Akira Tazawa. Akira Tazawa, so explosive oh inside God, the ring. Yeah, he possesses one of the best German suplexes you'll ever see. Tazawa hits hard and fast. As high intensity as they come. Yeah. Gentlemen, the ninja battle is about to begin. And folks, don't let his size fool you. There's a reason we tout the power of Tozawa. Yeah, Akira Tozawa is arguably pound for pound one of the strongest superstars on the roster. He can German suplex just about anyone who steps in front of him. Tozawa is definitely not a superstar you want to take lightly in between the ropes. And then there's the British Bulldog, a superstar who's locked up with some of the all-time greats over his storied career. If legends couldn't put a collar on him, I'm not sure anyone can. No kidding, Bulldog is as tough as they come and twice as fierce. I don't think we've ever seen him back down from a fight. Powerless position to be in right now. Straight impact on the throat. Can he do it here? Gets the shoulder up at one. He's far from finished. Big forearm. And British Bulldog is having his way right now. And Davy Boy might still have more in store. Shifts it back onto it. Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. Abdominal stretch. Fighting out. That's one way to get out of it. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Desago wards that attack off. That can knock you out. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. You might get caught. If the British Bulldog is going to come out on top in this match, how do you expect him to do it? Simple. By grinding his opponent down with methodical attacks. Bulldog just has to trust him. Shoulders down. And he easily stops the ref's count. It's not over yet. Plenty left to go in this one. Carefully measured knee drop. Ah, oh, look at this, just cranking it out. Cranking the head. Got to respect the strategy to work over the arm. Quick thinking pays off. Oh, snap, power slam. And wait a minute, what's the manager doing under the apron? Our manager grabbing anything from under the ring is beyond unfair. 
It's just downright evil. Looking for the victory. Two. And this one is over. Here is your winner, the British Bulldog, Davey Boy Smith. The British Bulldog racking up quite a win in this one. Dizal put up quite the fight, but in the end, it just wasn't enough. The following is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring, accompanied by Roman Reigns at a combined weight of 501 pounds. Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso, the Bloodline. If you looked up tag team wrestling in the dictionary, these two would be the definition. Absolute masters at the tag team craft. Gallus is here, and they are ready for a fight. And their opponents, accompanied by Wolfgang, at a combined weight of 486 pounds. Mark Coffey and Joe Coffey Gallus. Stepping out of the pub tonight to take care of business. I'm sure they're in a rush to get back there, too. <laughs> Gentlemen, I have a four-word prediction for tonight. Gallus boys on top.
We're about to see the dominant force of Gallus in full display here, guys. These guys have been running roughshod over WWE for a while now. For them, it's about GBOT. Gallus boys on top. We'll see if that happens for the Gallus boys tonight, Corey. Detroit has seen it all over the years, guys, and I'd say this match will likely be right up there with some of the best. Put into the corner now. Nice edge chop. Power slam. Putting up a united front as this match continues. Oh, nice bulldog. He's one step ahead there. From way up the top and down. Oh no, now possibly. Bonnie gets out. Perhaps some renewed life in him now. Popped up. Jimmy Uso with a Samoa drop. Body shot. Jimmy saw it coming. Boom. He's lost some of his win now. Yeah, Jimmy displayed just a touch of his offensive capabilities. Will this be enough? A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. Oh, they're just punishing their opponent now. Getting him into the corner. That's a good tag. There's the tag here. An effective attack to the leg can hurt everything from balance to mobility. It can drastically limit you inside the ring. Stomping. Ouch. You know, what we're seeing in the ring is about so much more than just this match. That's right. For a while now, there's been some extremely bad blood stewing between these superstars. And now it's bubbling over before our eyes inside the ring. Goodness gracious. And repeated impacts like that will weaken you mentally as much as it does physically. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Just bounce that face like a basketball. Oof, and all the impact brought to the knee. He saw that one coming. Looking worse for wear corner now. What reflexes to stop Joe Coffey? Tag is good. Tag is made. Partner going up top. Uh-oh. Ooh, so splash. Teamwork making the dream work right here with that display. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Focusing on a body part, picking it apart. The arm's as good of a place to focus as any. Mangling the face. Able to get the advantage here. Oh, and back of the elbow. Joe looking unfocused after that blow. Yeah, watching Solo aggressively work the opposition. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Into a sidewalk slam. They are fading off the WWE fans, now pinning the arm down and... Delivering nasty stumps. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Bulldog. Big forearm. Ooh, 
and Jimmy manages to counter. Oh, look at this. Just cranking the head. That's got to hurt. Just cranking the head. He can end it here. He's got him. Kicks out after one. I don't know what more this superstar can do to put him away. Able to get there in time. to elude it. Clothesline takes him down. Forget about it. Knee strike down low. Mark with the rear fall to avoid that. Mark didn't see that coming. Hoist it up. Bang. Snap suplex. Set up in the corner of the ring. Caught him right in the jaw. Oh, what a shot. High risk area up there. Great counter. Oh. Boom. Hits him with the counter. Mark Coffey rips over his opponent with a snap mare and crowning glory. Does Jimmy have any fight left? Cover. And he makes the save for his team. Jimmy able to reverse that. He left an opening. Simone drop. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. Cover. Is it enough? Oh, thank goodness oh, for the teammate. Just quite in time. Placing them right where they want them into the corner. Oh, target acquired and destroyed. This match is brutality starting to show on him. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Oh, saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. Now this is a textbook example of how to bend the rules. Using the forearm to their advantage. And this is just a vulgar display of ruthlessness. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. This is it. Kicks out. Well, you gotta think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. be racked with excruciating pain. This is the true testament. Who can dig down, pull the lever, and become the aggressor? And he gets the tag. Rake right across the back. Looking for more damage here. Release back. Suplex, ouch! In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Oh my goodness, double gut buster, that might have broken some ribs. Super kick! Good night. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Legs go numb. Top rope. Uso splash. Will Jimmy seal this up? Oh, just. 
just ate that kick to the face. He's in off the tag. It's a rather crude facial reconstruction. That's not very nice. A ripping and tearing at the face. Uh oh, look out. Double leg drop. Oh, what a suplex. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Just punched him right in the middle. Enough already. What reflexes to stop Joe Coffey? Kick again to the back of the head. It's absolute pandemonium in here. And it's all because of the willpower these superstars are showing. The foot DDT. He's able to sidestep there. And he tosses him back in now. that can touch these two guys. If I could be so bold as to make a prediction, someone's gonna get smashed. The following is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, representing the Creed Brothers from Lexington, Ohio, weighing in at 285 pounds, Brutus Creed. A collegiate All-American wrestler and a Dusty Rhodes Classic winner. Not a single wasted movement from this guy, an absolute technician in the ring. I am looking forward to seeing what this kid can do in the ring. An extremely bright future for Brutus Tree. Here comes an all-American blue chip talent in Julius Creed. And his partner, representing the Creed Brothers from Lexington, Ohio. Weighing in at 230 pounds, Julius Creed. Julius Creed is a straight up unit. He went undefeated in collegiate conference competition. He's one of the best NXT tag champions ever. 
And now Julius is ready for all of WWE. And accompanied by Jinder Mahal at a combined weight of 572 pounds, Veer Mahan and Sunga Indus Sheer. A duo that has showcased the very best in tag team wrestling tonight. Looking to be another one for the highlight reel. There's the bell, and we're about to see the sheer brutality of Indus Sheer. These guys feel they haven't been given the opportunities they deserve. They're here to take what's theirs, and they're doing that with unadulterated aggression. The question is, will their dominance be seen and heard tonight? And when it comes to the creeds, you almost take their incredible power for granted because you expect it to be there. But their impressive speed and agility have a major impact on their offense and their defense. Straight up, competitors who are as big and powerful as Julius and Brutus are not supposed to move like that. I mean, they can really do it all. Oh, my goodness. With the counter. Set up in the corner of the ring. Punch. Great wherewithal on the counter. What a shot! Uh oh, uh oh. Ouch. That's one way to get your opponent out of the corner. Nice counter from Sanga. Oh, just deadlifting their opponent. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurt someone like that. Two just kicks out. The end was in sight. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Brutus there meeting an obstacle to overcome. Yeah, and Sanga put that right on target. You want to control the tempo, you want to dictate the pace. That right there is how you do it. Uncorked a big punch. Snake eyes! Oh, this! What a headbutt! Brutus running into some trouble. It's a full court press being applied to Creed. That prevents offense from Brutus. And Sanga is finally changing the tempo with that attack. Sanga weathered the storm and wants to create a flurry of his own. He's been placed in the corner now. This team with some more tandem offense in mind now. Opponent hoisted on the shoulders. Doomsday Cannonball. And Sanga is out. And we've seen how this rivalry has escalated to the point that no one involved cares about the collateral damage they've caused. 
Hell, Michael, they don't even care about their own well-being. They just want to destroy and embarrass the other, no matter the price or consequences. And that is what makes this whole situation so scary. By the thrown into the top rope. Oof. Imperium has arrived. A united group with one unwavering mission to prove that the mat is sacred. And there's no doubt that every member of this group is an elite grappler that raises each other's game. Yeah, when you look at Imperium, you look at a group that's not here for antics or here to entertain the WWE Universe. They are simply here for pure wrestling. It's not about entertainment. It's about winning. It's about power. It's about dominance. And Imperium has done all of that. Look at that formation. Completely in sync like a finely tuned watch.
The Vikings have arrived. They are ready for battle. The Viking Raiders approach the ring every night as if it's a battlefield, and they fight accordingly. Yeah, holding back is apparently not in the Viking playbook. But intimidation certainly is. These warriors are a scary sight. If there's glory to be won, they'll burn this whole place to the ground to get it. For many, the day the Viking Raiders graced their arena was the most important day of their life. But for the Raiders, it was Monday. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Raw Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 552 pounds, the NXT Tag Team Champions, Ivar and Eric, the Viking Raiders, and their opponents. Combined weight of 440 pounds. The Raw Tag Team Champions, Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci. Imperia! Tag Team Championships on the line. May the best team win. Imperium believes that most of the WWE has lost their respect for the ring. They believe it falls to them to return honor to this industry. It sounds noble when you say it like that, but it usually boils down to them annihilating anyone who they think isn't on their level. And for Imperium, that's literally everyone else. True enough, Imperium has an exceptionally high opinion of themselves and aims to prove they're better than the rest by ultimately destroying them in the ring. Detroit has seen it all over the years, guys, and I'd say this match will likely be right up there with some of the best. Tossed into the corner. on the canvas. And an elbow drop for added measure. Vicious right forearm. Watch this athleticism. Sent to the outside. Oh no. Get out of the way. Oh my lord. Ooh. Uh-oh, Hazard 
hardest part of town here on the apron. On the apron! The hardest part of the ring. You don't aim for the apron unless you're looking to do some serious damage. Raped across the top rope. Clubbing forearm. Eric fires back. And he sends him into the corner. before things got more disastrous for him. And he slides him back to the mat. Uh-oh. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. This rivalry has gotten so personal, so intense. Who knows what these competitors will do to each other next. I'm guessing no one will be baking I'm sorry cookies. Only if they plan to shove the cookies down their throat, Saxton. That's where we're at with this whole situation now. Thrown back in under the ropes. Looking wobbly in the corner. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. And Vinci gets that set right back to him. Side slam. Gets out of there in a hurry. Out on the apron. Oh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be really bad. Nasty. The hardest part of the ring. That had to send tremors down the challenger's entire body. Ooh. A powerful suplex toss. Whoa. Squaring off right by our announce table. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. Beautiful. And the official calls a double count out. Should have listened to the count. Things are about to get just too sweet. The OC is here and ready to have each other's backs. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. 
Introducing first, accompanied by Carl Anderson, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. We all know the OC loves to have a good time, but the one thing they might love even more is getting into a good old fashioned fight. Yeah, they brawled all over the world and sometimes with each other. The OC never sleeps on a good fight. The OC looking ready to get to work. Get to work in that ring and then get into a few cold ones after all said and done. That is the OC way. Oh, this is my favorite part. He's going to sing. Y'all know what time it is. This is the part where we crank it up. Let's crank it up. Now here we go. People over there, what's up? You feel me? Stand up and say what's up. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? You can get with this or you can get with that. You better get with this. Cause this is where it's at. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? See, I be skipping and jumping, leaving the competition. I make them disappear like your favorite magician. And I ride it till the wheel fall off. I bounce back to back till their necks get soft. Most of the time you see me, I'm being simple. Then many times I'll be busting them up like a pimple, stating my claim to fame. To be one of the baddest young brothers, step foot in this game. And I haven't even started yet. You can better believe I take it off the show shot bet. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? And at a combined weight of 610 pounds, the team of the Boogeyman. And Umaga! Oftentimes with teams, you know one member is better than the other. These are two superstars who are equally high level. And if you ask me, he's probably a little more motivated than usual, given who his opposition is here tonight. And while I understand there's bad blood here, he has to be careful not to become so enraged that he loses his cool. Teams in their respective corners for tonight's tag team contest. We're all set to go with AJ Styles and our truth And we'll see if they're prepared for tag team action as they go head-to-head -head with Boogeyman and Umaga. Both sides in this match know that tag team competition is a very specific, very unique art form. We're going to see just who will be the better team here tonight. Springboard moonsault into the DDT. Come on, AJ caught him. Oh, look at this. Out to the apron. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Oh, my goodness. That was quite the impact on the apron. You might be in shock now, but you'll be feeling lasting pain for a few weeks to come. Oh, hip drop. Trying to take away that grip, that range of motion on that end. Boogie man. Exactly worming his way into his opponent's head there. No other word for it. Just technical precision from the phenomenal one. <laughs> Big knee to the midsection. thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. Nice side headlock applied. Oh, what a good punch. measure. Nice hip toss. And he thinks he has it. Kick out just in time. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. My goodness, that'll stop anyone. 
Uh oh. And back elbow creates separation. Shot slam! Lana. Booty boot. Oh, and it looked like AJ Styles got hit with a bold attack that time. Boogeyman doing what he can to protect his territory. AJ with the wherewithal to avoid that. Boom, running his team. And here's a cover. And he manages to kick out in one. I can't believe the ref didn't get two. Oh, well, no, it's roll up. Denying a two count there. These men knew this match was going to be hard fought. Vicious right forearm. Not the position you want to be in right now. Left by the turnbuckles. Ascending up. Oh, impactful. His shoulders are down. And he powers out. Wow. I oh, had that well scouted. the elbow to escape the attack. AJ Styles rolls through. Here it comes. Calf crusher. Are you kidding me? Elbow. What a counter. Ascending up. Oh, impactful. Will this be enough? Kick out for AJ Styles. He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Just look into the eyes of these superstars. They're clearly out for blood in this match. That's what this ferocious rivalry has come to. It's not just about winning or losing anymore. It's about destruction. And they'll do whatever it takes to achieve that goal. There he goes, right into the corner. There's return fire on AJ. Umaga with a retaliation. Close line. So effective. Reaches his partner for the tag. He made it. Tag made. Put it in a position now. Just pure brutality. Come on, easy. Oh, my Lord, what is he? Oh, he runs. So barbaric. Back body draw. Oh, you see the height on that? Headbutt. Just end this now. Oh, he's playing. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. Rolling neck snap. Brutal. Ooh. I'll tell you what's up now. Our truth is having some tough hits thrown his way. The power of Umaga getting the better of his opponent on that one. Sent into the corner. Oh, he retaliates. Big boot. And there's the tag. AJ Styles into the ring. Yes, tag. Denied with an elbow. Oh, look at this. Oh, pump. Uh oh. Oh, able to counter the attack with a hip toss. Style just unloading on his opponent. Man, phenomenal blitz. Oh, what a counter. Took them off 
their feet. Pops him up. Oh, you better be kidding me. Oh, my God, he's in position. The Styles crash. He hits it. Does Styles finish the job here? And the kick out. I'm afraid to know what voodoo is fueling the boogeyman to keep soldiering on. Styles absolutely thought that was it. And who could blame him? You're crying. Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. I don't know how much more damage AJ Styles can take. We're about to find out. Yeah, he's got to dig deep and find another win if he wants to stay in this. Oh, man. AJ Styles may be wishing he was back in Japan around now. Styles will rally. Relax. in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Boogie Man going up. Oh, what a clubbing blow. Gets the tag. Ooh, merciless looking blow. Styles wobbling. Looks vulnerable. Fought off with an elbow. Styles looking to end this thing. Styles crash. Caught all that with his face, and now Umaga is bleeding good. You have to respect these men for taking it to the next level. This one's becoming too close to call. Yeah, it's hard to predict how this one will end. Gotta hurt. From the second rope. Goodness, what the sunset flip. Clean tag for his partner. Rolling next snap. Brutal. Precarious position for both superstars. Oh, gosh. A back suplex right onto the apron. Look at this crowd. It's insanity in here. Bedlam. Oh. That unraveled on Umaga. AJ Styles. Look at the striking combo by Styles. A phenomenal blitz. Tagged in. Vicious right forearm. Oh, lie detector. That's gotta be it. Two. Oh, barely kicks out. You are not alone in your shock, Cole. We all thought that was it. Umaga is really out of it. He might be done soon. Counter from Umaga. Placed into the corner. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Here we go. You ready for it? Choke slam. He's looking a little weary now. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't. We got a cover. Kicks out. He still has life. Obviously still has some fight left. Oh, what a knee strike. Producing a trampling. 
brings him in. Shoulder tackle. Shot after shot. It's ruthless striking. recovers quickly. This could devolve into pure bedlam otherwise. Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. <laughs> Piercing the throat. What a screw calf kick. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Here. Someone's got to make a count. And a victory, a win. Here are your winners the team of the Boogeyman and Umaga. Tag team chemistry in full effect with these two superstars. For my money, these two just might be the best tag team on the roster today. An impressive young talent. And we know that impressive young talent, Nathan Fraser, sure knows how to soar. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Jersey in the Channel Islands, weighing in at 182 pounds, Nathan Fraser. Oh, believe it or not, Nathan Fraser was actually trained by Seth freaking Rollins. Perhaps the most prized pupil of the visionary. Well, that training's apparent from Nathan Frazier's innovative style and offense. Maintains a devil may care attitude towards any opponent. High flying, high risk, high reward, all too familiar for Nathan Frazier. Well, hopefully, Nathan learned a lesson or two from Icarus. He's back! And his opponent, from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 200. 18 pounds. C M Punk sent a message when he said, "Quote: I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to make money." He's facing fierce competition nowadays. Well, listen, Punk's famous for not playing well with others. There are many men who have shaken his hand who now want to be the one who topples the best in the world. Well, they've got to be ready for this brand new version of CM Punk, already at his peak but primed and ready 
to reach new heights. WWE is a different world than when Punk left a decade ago. This company's evolved. Now he must evolve. Punk better evolve. Punk better raise his game. Because nowadays there are many who claim to be the best in the world. Nathan Frazier, the young high flyer, ready to get this thing going here. Daredevil ways, fearless attitude. Frazier is the real deal. We've never seen him give anything less than his all in the ring. But tonight should be no different. Absolutely, Byron. This young man is all about pushing the limits, going all out every time that bell rings. And Punk has that him against the world mentality that's gotten into the highest heights in this industry that has propelled him to superstardom and that best in the world moniker. The voice of the voiceless is always ready to back up every single thing he has said. And tonight is no different. CM Punk is here to fight. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. He's going for it all. From the top, through the air, and connects. They got all of that. Just taking flight and soaring through the sky. Front face lock applied. Final cut. Inverted face lock. Driven down with an elbow to the heart. And Zagiri finds its mark. one. Slip blade! What's he gonna do here? Oh, that hurt! And that can end up putting CM Punk on shaky legs for a bit. Yeah, and that was a creative bit of agile offense from Fraser there. I think I speak for everyone when I say that this rivalry has gotten out of hand. Neither side of this thing has any caution for the well-being of the other. This isn't about who's better anymore. This is about taking out the competition. Some might even argue that the better side is the last one standing, Cole. But you do have a point. This rivalry has gotten way out of hand. Able to reverse. Oh, kick. Fraser becoming a bloody mess in there. Ah, look at this. Oh, God, that hurt. One right hand, another, and another. Provide an escape plan. And Nathan got bottled up there. Russian leg sweep. You're a naughty boy. Oh, he turns it into the Anaconda Vice. This one could be over. I'm not quite sure if this... A uh, couple of knees there. That'll get him out of it. Kick gets caught. No. Laser focused on the temple and back of the neck. Heads out of the ring. What's next? And up the turnbuckles we go. Oh, uh, look out. Look out below. It doesn't matter if you're on the outside of the ring. There is no place safe when you face such a risk taker. Punk has that look. Gonna try to end it. He takes control. Oh. Evades the attack. And Zagiri finds its mark. He may be in a bad way here. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes himself to. 
He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. And Nathan could be wasting time playing to the crowd. Into the corner. This can't be good. Things went from bad to worse. Countered by CM Punk. He foiled that attempt. Oh! Right on target with a stop to the gut. Telegraph that one and delivers a blow to the gut. Springboard! Springboard! Close line! Into the cover! And this was quite the win for CM Punk. All the hard work, all the guts. In the end, it just wasn't enough for Nathan Fraser. Yeah, but someone had to be the loser, and tonight, it was him. The LWO is in the building. It's time for everyone to stand up and take notice. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring, representing the LWO from Queens, New York. homage to the original founding fathers of the LWO. This is a team that represents their Latino culture openly and proudly. They become a family of sorts, Michael. They win together, they lose together, but they always fight together. And here come three women looking to take control. Perhaps the most dominant women's faction in WWE history. And representing damage control from Tokyo, Japan, Io Sky. Attitudes and personalities aside, damage control is one of the most impressive factions we have ever seen in the women's division, ever seen in WWE at all. They are arguably the most decorated team to ever be in WWE, too, Michael. That's where a lot of the attitude comes from. A team of winners all coming together for a common goal, taking over the women's division that they so clearly belong on top of. Could that be it?
Well, Damage Control looks ready for a fight, but most likely not a fair one. You know, Zelina Vega has really come into her own as of late as she's embraced her heritage and her culture as part of her identity as a WWE superstar. And the WWE Universe has really embraced her in kind. Zelina is fighting with a purpose, and the WWE Universe sees that as something they can latch on to. As crafty and as scrappy as she's always been in the ring, things have really all come together for Zelina lately. And that's why tonight could easily be her night. And then we have a superstar who defies gravity just... Oh, my God! Moonsault! You see that height? Off into the pin. There's two! And a kick out at two. Close call. That was almost lights out. Counter! And now there's an opening. Oh, and she turns it around. Springboard misses the target. Oh, man, right to the R. Hyper extend your elbow. Corey, we know that Zelina isn't afraid to get her hands dirty when she's in the ring. She'll do anything it takes to get the victory and maintain her status. So what do you think is the best strategy for her competition? Other than begging her for mercy? In all seriousness, though, Zelina usually has a size or strength disadvantage coming into a match. So decide which advantage you want to utilize and stick to the plan. Boom, what a kick. EO able to fend her off. <laughs> That'll rearrange the spine. This is going to get ugly. Air raid crash. Is it enough? And she's not done yet. She's still in this one. Boom! Head kick connects. Kick lands. Jack. Punishing the leg. Oh, she has bad intentions now. And look at this now. Bad intentions coming with this hole. Submission locked in. Going to oh, serious peril. No, she counters. Watch out. Running Bulldog. Can she keep her down? The referee's attention diverted here. They need to get their head in the game. Could be in search of a second win now. The springboard attack fails to land. Oh. Can't break in the midsection. Oh, look out. It's on now. Ooh. Neither competitor is backing down. So much pride. So much resiliency on display. Looks like a hockey fight's just broken out. It looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. Giving up now is not an option. They have to finish this. Ooh! Eo Sky not afraid to bring the battle to anyone. The vendetta between these superstars has become so bitter that I'm almost afraid of what will happen here. Anything is possible when a rivalry gets this out of hand. Hopefully this is a chance for them to work through at least some of that pent-up aggression. Clapjack! The genius of the sky might take flight. And Eo gets reversed. the opponent's head like a basketball. Straight jacket locked in. Boom! German suplex. She must be close to finish now. This is a very dangerous situation now. <laughs> oh my! A jumpy DDT! Absolutely planted. She's going out! Top rope here! From way up handle. Ooh, what a damaging blow. 
looking for a high risk move. Watch out. She certainly took a chance there. High risk with no reward. A mat slam with some attitude. Someone's got to get back to the ring now. Time to party with the Prophets. You know, it's been a bit surprising to see Ford and Dawkins sporting more of an attitude. If you ask me, they finally wised up. It's well past time they stopped messing around and got serious about their careers. Well, I'm not surprised you're a fan of this change, Corey, but there's a lot of fans out there that feel betrayed. Well, they can go cry into their crumpled party cups. Ford and Dawkins only care about getting paid and taking names, as they should. You know, guys, I have an idea. 
How about we all join the Street Profits, choreograph our own little dance inside the club, man. It'll be lit. That's a great idea, Saxon. Afterward, we can all go play in traffic. A group to be feared, the Judgment Day. Yeah, a ruthless, cutthroat collective. The Judgment Day have become a well-oiled machine of brutality. The Judgment Day can beat you in so many ways. The numbers game, brute force, or pure intimidation. Yeah, basically, they become of one mind, a singular focus of dominance. A win for one is a win for all, and they all will win tonight. Just look at the Judgment Day, powerful, dominant, and ready to unleash their anger. Expect no mercy, no concern for their opponent's well-being. Well, that's how the Judgment Day conducts their business. They want power at any cost. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 492 pounds, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits. And their opponents at a combined weight 439 pounds, the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, and the NXT Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor and Damian Priest, the Judgment Day. Matchups like these are why I love tag team wrestling. We say it time and time again, but the Street Profits really are a team that love to have fun. They love to get the party going, have a good time. True, true, but don't get it twisted, Cole. Ford and Dawkins' high energy can translate into some absolute intensity when they really get going. And boy, we should expect them to get going in this one, guys. But I have to imagine they're in for a hellacious fight against the Judgment Day. This group knows how to punish you inside the ring and can be a nightmare opponent for even the most seasoned competitors. Yeah, even if you don't like them, you can't deny Judgment Day is stacked when it comes to raw talent. They are a very well-rounded group that has an answer for just about anything you could throw at them. And where does he think he's going? Look, he's just taking the perfect opportunity to regain some composure. Double leg takedown. corner got the legs Gabe and Gary wow picture perfect drop kick challengers 
a little worse for wear now. And with that move, I'd say Balor's ruthlessness covered by the champ. And the champ does not end it. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. Wards off that offense from Priest. Double knee backbreaker. Here's the tag. What are we gonna see here? Oh my goodness! Nothing what? fancy. Come on now. What is this manager bringing out? He should revoke his license for this. Foot was in overdrive there, and the challenger is rocked. Gonna be woozy after that impact. The challenger not looking good right now. And yeah, it's about time to heavily consider tagging in that partner. Down, glam slam, free fall. And tag, he did it. Let's go. Expected that one. Down with the sling blade. And a basement drop kick. Paying it right back with a reversal. Has them up. Nice waist lock takedown. Holding on. How about another? Repeated waist lock takedowns. A powerful message just sent to the champion with that move. Double underhook. Underhook suplex. Uppercut. Jarring. Balor retaliates. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. Tag made, fresh man in. Nice clothesline. Play it, possum! Shoulders down! He kicks out with authority. An almost instantaneous kick out there. A lot of work left to do. Oh, and a right hand for good measure. Over and over, establishing complete control. That is the kind of move that leaves our jaws on the floor. Unbelievable. Oh my gosh, what impact. Oh, the back of the neck, what a lariat. DDT. Dawkins with impressive moves. This is where that call of Priest will be tested. Just got the heat turned on to them with that one. Four! And he hightails it to ringside. He certainly has to be piecing together a new game plan now. Close line! Caught the clothesline attempt. Driven down STO. He eludes the contact. He got whipped into that corner. Oh, almost through the turnbuckle. Snapmare takedown. Oh, my. Single leg drop kick. And he's able to counter. Paying it back with their own counter. Oh, Slay play. Followed up with a basement drop kick. Climbing to the top rope. Tag made. Tag made. Fails to connect on the springboard. Ballard shows the wherewithal. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at this aggression, just pure brutality. Come on, easy. Famous.
Mercer. The champ's shoulders are down. Kick out after one from the champion. Still not enough to put him away. And he saw that coming from Montez. He is still in this. Oh, oh close line. Ben Balor full control here. 19 16 from Balor. The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night. Three to two count. Title still on the line. It was almost just lights out on their championship dreams. Well, let's see if that kick out was a spark or is it the challenger's last gasp? Finn cannot believe what just happened. What else does he need to do? Back elbow blows that one up. Turning the tables there. Drop kick. No backing down here. They really want to make sure the best man comes out on top in this one. Close line in the corner. Snapmare takedown. Oh my, single leg drop kick. The challenger is in some big trouble. And he has just taken an extraordinary amount of abuse. the smoke well they couldn't handle it tonight The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Worldwide Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. The Barrett Barrage has arrived. And it is <clears throat> bad news for anyone in that ring tonight. Stop it, Byron. Just stop. That was terrible. I tried.
strength, arrogance, and cunning all in equal measure. And his time at the announce desk has just made him an even smarter competitor. He's not just calling the action. He's taking notes. Wade's confidence is at a real high because he knows he's still got it. Has proven himself as a championship caliber player in WWE and not to be taken lightly. Once in a lifetime competitor, the living legend. He once held the WWE Championship for 2,803 days. That's seven years, eight months, and one day. The WWE Universe showing their love for the living legend. And that legend will grow even more tonight. Introducing the challenger from Preston, England, weighing in at 246 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Wade Barrett. And his opponent from Abruzzo, Italy, weighing in at 265 pounds, the Worldwide Wrestling Champion, the first superstar, Bruno San Martino. The classic worldwide wrestling title about to be contested. Some of the earliest champions in WWE history held this very title, and now it's back up for grabs. The Worldwide Wrestling Heavyweight Championship would fit right in an art museum, but one lucky superstar will call it their own tonight. Nice amateur takedown, all the way over. Able to parry that one. Barrett saw it coming. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. Close fist connects. Corey, it has to be hard to prepare for an opponent as conniving and ruthless as Wade Barrett. Yeah, nope. Uh, he's got... What are they gonna do up there? From the top. of this match. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Good golly, Miss Molly. Watch out, they're coming towards the announce desk. What the hell are you doing, Byron? Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Oh, there's a response against Bruno. with him, clearly trying to force an error. Big time clothesline. Good grief. Big back 
Champ's got the pin to retain. And he kicks out at two. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. An elusive Barrett there. Ripcord. Oh, Lariat. He turns it around. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Able to interrupt the attack. Setting up a little on the champ. From the top, you gotta be kidding me! Showing absolutely no apprehension to putting one's body on the line. San Martino with a nice turnaround. They've been pushing each other for weeks now, and I can't believe it's reached this point. Yeah, Cole, when a few gets this intense, it's hard to come back from it. This is something they'll carry for years. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Stop in the leg. to the spine. Great strength being shown here. Now look at this. There is nothing but malicious intent when you deal damage out on the apron. And look at this now. Yes, applying the submission hold. I'm going to tap out here, but it ain't going to matter. They still do a lot of damage. And breaks the hold, but damage has been done. Up and oh, knee right to the spine. Ooh. Lining it up. Oh, the face of Bruno has seen better days. I can tell you that. Takes their breath out. Effective counter. Uh oh. He saw it coming. Oh, big club. Gets him out of that. Nice amateur takedown. All the way over. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Big punch finds its mark. Needed a gut create separation. Back and forth from the... Hoisting their opponent up. And the rope forces the break. Great effort, though. Escape just in time. Kicks to cover by the champ. Great officiating as the ref noticed he was on the ropes. <laughs> Ugly looking rake to the face creates the separation. Seeing an answer for every move attempted. I'll tell you this, guys, no competitor here is looking to get. Oh, he got. Is he gonna lock this in? He's got it locked in. He may not have a choice. He may... Able to punch his way out. Boom. Nice. Stomping down. Here's the pin tunnel on the line. Here we go. And a kick out of only one. There is no quit in this man tonight. And a Oof. stomp to the gut, too. Surprises way. Front kick to the body. Uh oh. Wade was ready there. He reverses it. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Saw that one coming. Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Uh-oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, man. A wasteland. And a bad exchange there for San Martino. Could be signs of trouble for San Martino here. The WWE Universe has come alive in this one. They are up and they are vocal. A lot of energy in the room. He 
is delivering elbow after elbow. Come on! No one likes a count out. He's burying elbows in the midsection. A show of take more than that to put the champ away. But just how much more is needed? The end could still be right around the corner. This was the moment to capitalize on. That should have been the end. Series of reversals. Oh! Consecutive attacks keeping San Martino off his game. I don't think anything can stop Wade when he gets going like this. Soaring! Oh, just completely off target there. Taking a chance and it did pay off at all. No surprise that what we're witnessing is trending. Forget trending on social media. The motion in the arena is charting on the Richter scale. Face meet boot. Golly. And he gets set back into the ring. Off the turnbuckles. What's he going to do? To the sky. Oh, strong impact. For the championship. Oh, close call makes the champ nervous. You got a question. How much is it worth? How much is it worth to continue? His opponent's about to suffer some bad news. Bruno beats him to the punch. Boom, what a right. Legging vulnerable on that top. Spots against Bruno. He went right into that turnbuckle. Uh oh. He just barely dodges. It is absolutely deafening in the building right now. Reversal. Can he take advantage? Way Barrett. Looks set to end this. Well, now a pin for the championship. There it is. The champ has fallen. Here is your winner. And new worldwide wrestling heavyweight champion, Wade Barrett. He won the match and the championship with it. Tonight is definitely a night to celebrate, but let's not lose sight of the fact they have a long road ahead of them now. At least, if they're lucky. Oh, come on, Corey. Don't be such a party pooper. We've got... Double champ in the building. Skills so nice, they call him champ twice. The following contest is a triple threat match. And is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the challenger from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the undisputed. WWE Universal Champion and the NXT Champion, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Holding two titles is the ultimate statement of power. Who could question him at this point? Let there be no doubt this is what domination looks like. 
and he's at the top of this division. You know he's going to be fighting for it all in this match. Yeah, he's made it clear he is dead set on remaining on top of the mountain with those two titles. From chosen one to number one. A man who has slain every competitor on his way to reach the mountaintop in WWE. Drew McIntyre and his goals. Whether the WWE Universe supports him or not, Drew will stay on the top of the food chain in WWE. Drew McIntyre has an unparalleled focus, refuses to let the outside noise get to him. Yeah, as clear-headed as a superstar can be, which only makes him even more dangerous. The most lethal superstar in the history of WWE, the Apex Predator. And introducing the champion from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, the Viper, Randy. A rare third generation superstar. The Viper possesses greatness coursing through his veins. And despite his family legacy, Randy Orton has forged a path of his own as one of WWE's top superstars of all time. And Randy Orton's methodical pursuit of self-serving goals is synonymous with his personality. A superstar who always gets what he wants. My sources tell me that Randy Orton wants you to go home, Saxton. Well, Randy's ready to consume more prey here tonight. You might want to take Corey's advice, Saxman. A highly contested World Heavyweight Championship handed to our official. Each superstar getting a glance of what's at stake. Talk about a big matchup. The World Heavyweight Championship on the line here tonight in this triple threat match. Ready to kick things off here with Cody Rhodes. Drew McIntyre and Randy Orton. The mind of the champion must be going a mile a minute, wondering what's the best strategy in this situation. If you're the champ, you need to make an alliance of some sort. It does you no favors if you're the main focus in this match. You want to make it a one-on-one -on -one and make sure that you're not the odd competitor out. Getting air with that forearm. from Rhodes. Oh, the headbutt. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Reversed into a powerbomb. So much for that attempt. 
What now? Stomped in the belly. Smart attacking the arm. He switches it back around. In a no disqualification match, you never want to be the superstar on the wrong end of a chair or a kendo stick or whatever else might be hiding under the ring. You want to be the one inflicting that punishment because that's how you control the pace and the match as a whole. This one is headed outside, guys. Determination in his eyes, and now a kendo stick in his hands. Answering back. Oh, right to the shoulder. The methodical style of Orton got a bit stalled there. Yeah, Drew looks pretty confident with his attack there. Vicious right for him. What a shot. Straight brutality coming right at you. Here's a pin for the title. And he stops the count. shaken. Oh, God, what an elbow. And now here come the punches. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. Headlock applied and a nice short jab to the bridge of the nose. And he's pulled the ring apron up looking under there for something. Cut 
starting off the offense with a nasty chop block. With the championship on the line. Running interference. Inside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Yeah. Using the ropes. Oh, McIntyre holding him at bay. The American Nightmare nails the crossroads. The title might change hands. Boom. Oh, what an uppercut. John. This whole building is shaking. Matches like this are what it's all about. He's got him scouted. Exponentially, the fans are willing these competitors to push forward. Win or lose, these superstars are going to be held in high esteem after this one. Manhandling his opponent is Drew McIntyre. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. Setting up for something here. Ooh, pinpointing the trick here. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Cody Rhodes has his opponent right where he wants him. Oh, the title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. Oh, man. Then. He finds a counter for Rhodes. Tossed into the corner. McIntyre reverses and looks to capitalize. Cody Rhodes. He's heading back to the ring. Kendo stick to the score. The champion. Champ stands tall once again. Here is your winner, and still the world heavyweight champion, the Viper, Randy Orton. And he has to be satisfied with himself defending the championship like he did. What a title defense by the champion. Now he left it all in the ring tonight with the type of performance that's defined his title reign.
Los Lotharios are here. Here to chase after glory and women. The following is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 403 pounds, Angel Garza and Umberto, the lethal lovers, Los Lotharios. I have to say, Los Lotharios have always been a threat, but they've brought a new level of aggression as of late. I agree, Corey, though I think they could probably cut down on the ringside flirting. That's like asking the sun not to shine, Saxton. I don't see how Los Lotharios can win this match if they can't stop making eyes at the crowd. Oh, just you wait. They know in the ring it's time for business, not pleasure. Oh, WWE Universe! Don't you dare be sour! Clap for the greatest thing going and feel the power! One of the most entertaining and successful teams in WWE, The New Day. Enough with these guys already. It's The New Day. And their opponents, accompanied by Big E, at a combined weight of 417 pounds, Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston. The you clapping because I cannot stand this this is ridiculous Cut. like someone threw up unicorn glitter all over WWE so, okay we get it we get it you're a Debbie Downer get it Big E nice to see you've been studying your third grade book of insults Byron Saxton And Corey, I know you could feel a collective gasp from the ladies around the arena for Los Lotharios. Well, if Lutz could kill, these guys would have a rap sheet a mile long. And in the ring, they're just as deadly. Technique as sharp as Umberto's dimples. I'm glad one of us said it, Corey, but I'll be damned if it was going to be me. Well, they'll have to deal with a little unicorn magic in the form of your boys, the New Day. No, oh, apart from those times they threw pancakes in my face, this is probably the best tag team WWE's ever had. The perfect combination of speed, power, and intelligence. These guys have a license to print money and a free lease in their opponent's head. Getting set up for something in the corner. Oh, targeting the stomach. He turns it around. Kick to the midsection. Has the arm all tied up. Hammerlock sits in, followed by a suplex. Counters with an attack on Umberto. Well scouted by Umberto. And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. Lives to fight another day. Counters! Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. He deflects it right back. Umberto feeling confident here. Hammerlock. 
Oh, that'll send a shock down your spine. Oh, oh that could be it. No, shoulders up at two. This could be a tipping point in this. Oh, no, it's roll up. Shoulders up. Yes, using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. Here he comes off the tag. Ah, oh, jumping knee strike. Lights out. Xavier Woods taking charge. Can Angel recover from this adversity? Into the corner he goes. A perfectly placed target. Ooh, DDT delivered. Oh, that might have just broken something. Kofi Kingston is tagged in. Kofi yeah. got countered there. He's finally able to slow down all those incoming attacks. It's time for Angel to take advantage of a misstep and take command. Angel's put a stop to that. to do next. Ooh, dropped right on their face. Angel didn't exactly come up big against that one. Yeah, as New Day building up that quicker pace there. That's gonna hurt. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Comes in off the tag. his game plan. Guys, I have to admit, it's truly hard to watch when a rivalry goes from competition to something more personal and sinister. Yeah, this is not about winning or losing anymore. This is all about destroying each other, no matter the cost, no matter the casualties. Someone could get really hurt, guys. Oh, leg drop across the back of the neck. Showing off the quickness, that'll turn things around in a hurry. Kofi with the setup. He stopped the count for his partner. Tag is registered. Placing them into the corner. He's returning fire. Counters with an attack on Umberto. Hoist it up. Snap suplex. He's struggling a bit here. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Umberto gets the better there. Woods with his opponent. Oh, man. Face first. Wheelbarrow face buster. Woods top row with the limit break Will Xavier put it away here? Cover! Two! Oh, shoulder up before three. I don't know how he just kicked out, and I'll tell you what, I don't really think he knows either. And Will just tried everything Thanks to get the cover. Ball, but his opponent is not going down quietly. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. His opponent included. Xavier digging down deep to mine every piece of positivity. Got the tag! Got the tag! Lining them up with a basement drop kick. What impact. Oh, right to the kidneys. God, please. And he sends him into the corner. From the first row. My goodness, what a cold red. For the win. Two count. No, stops the count at two. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. Oh, and a rear super kick. From behind, nasty. And Woods rocked by that crucial show of 
force. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? These men have been all gas and no brakes tonight, and they have to be feeling the effects. Well, they have to be running on fumes. I don't know how much longer they can go. Good tag. Piercing elbow. Something bad is about to happen to their opponent. Down they go. Angel is in the worst way now. Shoulders down. Oh, and he kicked out at two. I cannot believe it. Thought he had it. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, counters right into the bread basket. What a tank down there. Oh, there. In trouble here. Oh, chin lock. To his feet now, and elbow gonna create some separation. The admiration for these superstars is echoing throughout this arena right now. Uh oh. Chuck through the ropes, hanging on for dear life on the apron. Ooh! And it got worse. And off the tag. Humberto flashes those pearly whites, and the crowd tells him what they think. Save. Let's keep fighting. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Launching. That one fails to land. Missed the mark. His shoulders down. Yeah, no. He doesn't get the three. He refuses to stay down. Pure instinct. How's that? For a counter. Got him where he wants him. Up and oh, oh, the elbow connects. Getting him into the corner. From the first row. is still going on defies all reasoning. And that's the tag to Kofi Kingston. Textbook jumping clothesline. Oof. And another counter. Bullseye with the drop kick. Will it be? I think so. Oh, finally, monumental victory. Here are your winners. Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston. The New Day. Another win for the New Day. Cementing their legacy as one of the all-time great tag teams. A sad night for Angel and Umberto here, but... It's nothing a couple of lovely senoritas can't fix.